Well, here we are finally to the interesting assassin match. I don't I don't really know if you're going to get anything out of this, but it was just a nice match and uh I was finally <laughs> now that the cues were merged, your solo's gone. Uh Sheik was able to play with me again finally. So it was kind of fun just hanging out that day and playing. And uh this game we just have a 10 pretty good players, if I remember right. I think everybody does. Yeah, everybody does pretty well. And uh, what really happens is, well, for one, yeah, we're running Assassin Wascot, but the enemy team is also running Assassin Wascot. And uh, what ends up happening is the two commandos on our side end up being the only ones on the left side, and on the right side it's three other players. But what we figure is, I mean, we, we trust Sandy Claus, and uh, the other two we're, we're assuming are with Sandy. And we're just, we, we feel like uh, those three are probably working together on a team, like on voice chat, where we two are. So we figured that's not such a bad setup. And so we decided to just keep going with it. Now, we also played a lot of other games today where that has happened, too, where basically we were the only two commandos, like, like we would be, uh, or a commando or two commandos, the only ones in a lane having to push and do everything, where everybody else is just running all over the place or who knows what. And in those situations, it, it doesn't work out because basically the players you're with are terrible and they can't do anything but when you have three solid players it makes a world of difference so uh just kind of goes to show uh i mean a lot of people think the distraction assassin thing is is all about backdooring and getting another base and destroying their bots early and blah 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 it's it's totally not that's only you do it if you can and this is a perfect example of a game where we can't because we had to push and uh so let's just see how it unfolds and yeah let's just watch it here i don't know what else to say <laughs> i figured to get nice and healed up for whatever uh commando battle we might be having we have the wascot there uh, it'd be nice if we could both go for him but we're still kind of weary on where the assassin is and trying to get the lay of the land. We know we're the only ones over here. We don't want to die. We want to just kill those bots, stay up in levels, keep those bots back, try and keep our shields up as much as we can. And and uh, we're just going to have to outplay each team from each lane. Our le right lane's going to have to outplay them. Our left lane's going to have to outplay them. So now the enemy has... They have three guys over here. Our right lane should be making good progress. They do have the enemy shields down. But they don't really have the pushing ability, I don't feel. I don't remember. I don't think so. I don't know. What's going on? And we're just trying to stay back, not take too much uh, health loss, and just kind of stay in the game and keep those bots back as far as we can. We could go in and, uh, like, I could jump up, get behind him, have, then have Wascot attack from the front, but that is a little risky. We really have to just ensure to kill as many other bots as we can. If that goes wrong, if their assassin sees this happen or their Wascot and they come in and, and attack us, we're just going to totally lose this lane and we're going to totally lose that first turret. So we have to play really conservatively here. Running back for health. I'm at 50%. <coughs> and here's a good opportunity to sneak up on them. So I take it. But I get scared. I think that was... I thought that was the enemy Wascot that tried to grapple me. So I'm like, I, I just screamed Wascot and I ran away. <laughs> But it was just it was just my teammate there. Just a stupid <laughs> stupid mistake. But Wascot did show up like immediately after, so so Sheik was like, Oh hey, yeah, you're right, Wascot is there. So kinda kinda lucked out on that, I think. And the right lane, uh, yeah, we're pushed back on the turret, but they're still seeming to hold it. We're just gonna have to to wait for our opportunities to to attack them. And the thing is, we we don't really have the freedom to move around. The enemy commandos kind of do, 
they're available to switch from lane to lane, just see which one has an opportunity to attack, uh, whereas we don't, which this game it doesn't matter so much because the other lane is fine, but other games where I have to just I have to stay alive because I'm the only one that that is doing any bot killing. It's very difficult to just run in and try and flank them and and shake them up and and maybe get some kills. Just because in case I die or something goes wrong, the uh we're just going to get pushed back further and further. And we are to their right turret. I think some of them like one of their commandos are shifting in between lanes and that gave our team on the right side the opportunity to get to their turret again and pretty low in the kills there's only four kills in the game five kills in the game so far it's not the first annihilator yet but uh... for a game with four commandos i'd say that's pretty pretty low kills <coughs> Don't want to get up too far just because I don't want to take too much damage. Because that just means I have to run away. The right side, we have taken their right turret down. So they're making an excellent push, and we're just really delaying them on this side. So overall, we are winning the uh, pushing. We are outplaying them in pushing. Assault is really low on health. Missed the opportunity there. But we go ahead and take Leo while we have this chance. And get a good push ourselves. I'm at about half health. Probably should have used my knife there. <laughs> now I'm about at three fourths thanks to all my Regenital uh, endorsements. Still just want to push the bots, want to get their shields down. Yep, backed off there. Three enemies and a, a good Wascot. Not a not a good situation for me to attack. Even if my friendly Wascot got in on that action, we would probably lose that fight. So we're just backing off and sticking to the bots. We have their turret shield down, but I don't really have much opportunity to shoot it. I'm trying to get a few shots in right here. But since the enemy's all around it... Oh, yeah, the Annihilator's going on, too. Yep, we... yeah. <laughs> he saw the opportunity to call that because the enemy was not watching it, so we went ahead and teamed up to get that. That's where communication is key on this map. It's so easy to just say, no one's watching it, I'm getting it. I just quickly run over, call the ejector, and he... Can see an either with no problems at all. That just helps us continue the push. Not the most exciting footage, but it's just it, it's it's probably good to see that see how you have to. This is more of an extreme conservative play style. Uh, it's still distraction assassin, in that my game theory is exactly the same as always. Uh, remember, there are two. The game is split into two different styles. You have the pushing style and you have the shooting style. Shooting style when the enemy turrets are down. Pushing when the enemy turret shields are not down. In this game, we really have to work on the pushing. Because if I if I just go straight for the turrets, we're going to take too much of a loss in the pushing game. And that's another thing you have to decide. is uh, if you're shooting a turret, what losses are you taking? Can your team withstand the losses? Yep, got the kill there. Got some nice kills. We were able to push again. Lack of commando presence on this side, which is nice. They really... The commandos really should have ambushed us a bit more, I think. Because they, they certainly had an assault and a Leo that could do some damage. But uh, but the, I don't think they capitalized on that. <coughs> Excuse me. There we go. Kill this commando. Just 
just all kinds of craziness going on. Just slash whatever you can. And we were lucky enough to kill them all in that situation. It's nice playing with good teams. Especially against other good teams. So how's the scoreboard doing? Pretty balanced on both sides. Again, just backing off to kill the bots to survive. That's what we're that's what we're shooting for. We have good bot streaks going and kill streaks going. Don't really want to risk losing that at this point. Those they're so strong and so good that uh, might as well just stay alive and, and win this with solid pushing. Plus, it's harder. It's really difficult to distract good teams. I can't just run around in their spawn. They're gonna kill me instantly because they're good. And I rarely do run in their sp run in people's spawns, unless I have targets to shoot at, or I'm like distracting them from the annihilator or something. Yep, running can't stun this. I knew I knew there would be a, a good Wascot, so I went ahead and just ran. Can't stun this. Saved me there. Want to keep that rocket down? Now I'm distracting a bit more since there's the enemy's pretty flustered. It's it's got to keep those rocket shields down. And I got to get back to keep shooting it. Just looking for which side would be easier to get in on. Mega best not doing too hot. <laughs> Trying to kill me. Good grapple though. Running back for some regenital. Just retaining full health with that uh, health regen there. Yeah, I've still got good, good uh, health, so I figured not not uh, buying regenerative. I might be low on cash at this point too. I don't know. I can't see right now, but uh, I, I try and conserve as much cash as I can because I spend a lot. I I really do in in heated games like this. Wascott should have just ran straight into the uh, spawn room instead of trying to attack me. He got a little too confident there. And there we go, hitting that turret. And we're in. So not the most exciting footage, but... <coughs> well, the money wall's not down. Who's going to win? We're going to win. We have all six turrets. So not the most exciting footage, but... Uh, I don't know. It was, it was an interesting match. We, we had a lot of fun in this one. We... Uh, a lot of games, well, now that pickup queues back again, it's kind of interesting just seeing the differences from from how we used to play and how we play now. Because the way we used to play was very offensive, and we 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 just targeted as many players as we could. Yes, we pushed bots, but we did a whole lot more player killing. We really focused on whoever we could, and did a lot more distracting too. I did. Uh, because because we usually would get queued up with teams all around that could hold themselves in a push. Uh, well, how's the stats going? 
we had pretty good stats. Well, the enemy team, uh, I guess they didn't have as good a stats as I thought they did. But, uh, yeah, just just an interesting match, I guess. Uh, but, yeah, we, we used to be very offensive. And, and because our, our teammates could hold a push, yes, we will get pushed back. But being pushed, we would be pushed back slowly and they would still kill bots and they would retain their levels. Now we tend to be matched up more with with teams that just players that really can't do much of anything uh, half the time and uh, new players but hey that's great that you're new and you don't quit the game just because people say you need to get better or whatever but but um, we, we, we have to play a lot more conservatively and really just try and <laughs> stay keep our kill streaks going so that we can level up and kill bots as fast as we can because our teammates won't. So it's it's a it's a lot harder to just I can't just say, Okay, I'm turret shields down, I'm gonna go attack that because the team usually can't hold uh hold their ground uh using that. Uh but games like that where we have good teams that uh that can push together then we're we're usually set. So I don't know. That's some footage. <laughs> I just wanted to post another video. Thanks for watching. We'll see how Robo Hobo does if he gets nerfed or what. I'm still gonna keep working on uh support and gunner, improving those. Well just just trying out some endorsement sets on them. Stay tuned in the future. Things are gonna get busy for me. I don't know how many more videos I'll be doing or much I'll be playing. Probably st I still. This is all I do in my free time, though. So, uh, gosh, has the ending been long? Ugh, has the ending been long enough yet? I don't know. <laughs> all right, see you later. Testing, testing. I hopped on SMNC just to get a quick win today, but it turns out I faced some very tough competitors, and there were some pretty good matches. So I figured I'd just go ahead and upload them. I guess the thing we could maybe look at is teamwork and sticking together. Uh, cause that kinda really was a major thing that happened somewhat. I did record a Robo Hobo video about how his skill 3 cassette tape bots are just ridiculous now, and basically, if you just wanna play him, spam those out, upgrade that as much as possible, but they I have a feeling they're gonna patch it, uh, reduce how, how well they do. So, I'm, I decided not to post that just yet and I also had another assassin video with that but it really wasn't exciting footage so you're not missing much who knows maybe you'll see it in the future but uh, here we go this is um, me putting an assassin because who I was up against was Mimniotic and just Jeff so I figured I was gonna have to work for this one if we're gonna win we have Dar I have Darth Lurts on my team who I recognize I don't recognize anybody else in the game. Maybe Charles Townsend. I don't know. Um, Harry Butchers is in here somewhere. Just another recognizable name. Who he might be Charles. I don't think he's Darth, but I couldn't verify. He's in. He's in the next game as well. So I'm thinking he is with. He might be Charles. Queued up with the other two. If Charles is in the next one. So what I'm running is my Distraction Assassin endorsement build. 25 bacon regenitals. The products I have are uh, Lime Spunky, Massive Air, and Bot Buster because I figure I have a bunch of people I don't recognize on my team. I might have to really help with the bot kills. So let's go ahead and play. I'm up against a Captain Spark and a Wascot. I'm not too worried about the Captain Spark though. I feel he might be a little new. But we'll just go ahead and see how it all unfolds here. I want to try and get up ahead, but Wascot, Mimniotic, he, go he goes ahead and gets a very good position, and I don't want to move too far ahead because that's probably just going to end in my death. And just Jeff playing the, uh, the uh, Carl there. They do a great job of, of taking control of the middle immediately. My team was a little slow to get up there. So right now I'm just trying to see if I could break them up, kill little bots, just just see if they I can uh, I can uh, just disrupt the, them from and, and distract them from from controlling that center area. I didn't really do anything with that, but uh, I tried. And now we have Tank and Combat Girl here with me. I uh, Tank is Darth Lurt, I believe. Oh, Strat Stratus. Tank isn't too bad. 
And these, I, I really don't know if these guys are any good or not, but strength in numbers with these two. And I see we have the two commandos. I'm not going to attack them. I'm just going to stick with these three because if those two come after us three, we're probably going to win that fight if, we're, if, if my teammates are even just decent. So I'm just going to stick with them, force those commandos to just kind of sit back there and do nothing. And, uh, yep, they, they finally figure it's a waste of time and they, they go on to something else. So right now I'm just trying to... to destroy that turret since we have its shields down while my teammates do something I'm listening to 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 make sure they're not being attacked because uh, having two commandos around yes they can get attacked from over there so I, I, I and if they do I want to get in there and help them so again just sticking with those two because strength in numbers we take we're knocking out those two commandos they're not really going to be able to do anything so they need some more enforcers or strikers to come help them out on this in in this area stun the turret so me and tank can do a lot of damage to it there we go and watching out for the ejector up there just trying to get into the second uh, turret while we can. We, we're all pretty uh, high up on health for now. So the turret's down. And running to my team for safety here. Safety in numbers. I wish Tank would back off a bit. He's, there, he's almost dead. Luckily we have a healer here. And I'm just kind of trying to distract them so that Tank can get healed back in the room. Now I'm just trying to protect him best I can. Trying to run them away. I'm a little too far from my teammates, so I decided to back off. And just back to shooting that turret best we can. Tank is almost dead again. Combat Girl's taking some hits. I saved Tank from Spark. They're both really low. I decide to let them get the Regenital. I'm really low as well, but I can do more to dodge and run away. I figure just giving them the Regenital is going to keep all the three of us. It's the best chance of keeping the three of us in the fight. And I am almost dead here. You can look at the top screen. And getting some nice heals. I need to buy some Regenital. And Wascot's nearly dead. Go ahead and just finish him off with the Shurikens. And then Mimniotic calls me Renegade Furry. Great job, community leader. <laughs> or forum moderator. I don't know. <coughs> oh yeah, HUD. We have the HUD. So, I'm about full health. I, I was looking at the HUD. I don't know why I ran away. Oh, our combat girl died. Our tank is almost dead. So, I just went ahead and backed off. Yeah, tank is dead now. It must have been a losing situation for us there, so I just had to get out and retain my life so I would not lose my bot streak with Bot Buster and just regular streaks. Because so i got to stay as strong as I can. I have to, to, to keep my level up. So I've got juice. I can play a little more offensively. I can put myself in a, a more risky situation. Uh, I, I, that's not so much the plan, though. I really just want to save it for that crunch time situation where uh, I'm about to die, just so I can escape. And I'm trying to push the bots here. We had a good, we had a good lead with the bots. Uh, our, our bots had a good run on that left side, and we had a good chance of getting in if our team just delayed them at the annihilator a bit longer. Fortunately, we couldn't get in. So we did very well up to this point with ta Tank and Combat Girl. We just because the three of us were able to stick together, it was a little easy too because uh, it was the objectives were right there and it, we had nowhere else to go. At uh, this point forward, I know that we need to start working together again, but once you lose the annihilator and people start dying then it can be a lot more difficult it's just a lot harder for everybody to get back in that rhythm everyone starts getting a little more frantic 
and it just starts kind of going downhill from here but I still do my best I'm still just trying to to push wherever I can and get the team going luckily we have an Artemis over here so we can uh, maybe make an advance over here tanks here as well we could probably get this this lane going and I see uh, He's almost dead. I go ahead and and grapple him in shifty shuffle so that my teammate can finish him off and kill him, which he did. If I did not grapple him, he might have gotten away. Grap when they're in shifty shuffle, that's a prime opportunity to grapple them. It really is. I'm grapple him while I have teammates around. Unfortunately, Wascott comes to help him, and my teammates do not help me. <laughs> but I survive. God, I just I'm trying to keep the shields up on this side while shooting those bots. Let the shields go down. Support's all alone. He's an easy kill. Now, right there. And after that, Mimniotic says, I suck. <laughs> he says, your assassin sucks, read my guy. Same thing. Remember earlier when I grappled the Wascot because my teammates are around when he was in Shuffle D Shuffle and I purposefully took damage to hold Wascot there so my teammate could kill him? I had Artemis right there to do the same thing. And as soon as I died, I'm just like, what the heck? Why didn't Artemis kill him? And then I look down, and then I open the scoreboard. First time I open the scoreboard, and I see Artemis is 0 and 3, 20 bot kills, level 5. He's way under level compared to everybody else. And then I realize, okay, I basically just relied on the worst player in the game to... Um, I basically put my myself at risk so the worst player in the game could finish off... Uh, finish off Wascott who re Wascott really didn't need to die so much he he died recently and that was a very bad move on my part I lost my bot streak I lost yeah just lost all my streaks took a death gave Wascott a kill and yeah so that's just relying on your teammates that's what happens and I don't know, no, I don't know what else to say <laughs> really made me mad And here we go. Yep, there he is talking trash about me. Great job. Somebody's got to be a community leader or whatever. And hey, it's, I don't think it's all in good fun or anything just because I've never talked to the guy. I don't know. I don't know anything about it. It's just, I don't know. Just the, just the whole internet trash talking crap. It's just, it's just, it's just weird. Gets on my nerves just because it's so stupid. It hurts my feelings. <laughs> so here we go. We can maybe get him, but uh, I was going to grapple him, but uh, Robo fell down, so I didn't. And just trying to take out these bots. There's Spark. Oh, very nice save by Wascott there. Make him waste his juice with the grapple. And he's got plenty of life. I'm really low, so. <laughs> Somehow it looked like he escaped. He used juice to uh, escape the grapple, but he retained uh, the same amount of time he could use the juice, it, it seemed. So I think it kind of glitched out in his favor. 
unless I was reading that wrong. Unless Shifty Shuffle looks like it's juicing. I can't. I can't really recall. And again, we're just trying to. I, I'm just trying to. Uh, just waiting for my team to start working together again, but we're not. And it's just. It's just a lot more difficult to to make ground at, from this point on. And I have to kind of rely on and on trying to get lucky and push our bots through while the enemy is distracted trying to push. Half health, got to get some Regenitol. We have support and uh, spark down there. Trying to get our bots in, take that out, and ho hopefully get to the rocket after that. I go ahead and juice just to do the damage to the turrets to keep my Fuji alive as much as I can. I don't have stun cooldowns or anything. And I'm hoping I can get my Fuji in. Fortunately, he gets stalled by those bots that spawn, and those bots kill him. And the Annihilator, yeah, it's about to come here. Yeah, oh yeah, the Annihilator was there. And and uh, the the Annihilator before this, it was I basically turned the Annihilator fight into four on five with my team being four. Our bots were very close to getting their turret, uh, getting to their turrets, so that was a good risk to take. All my team had to do was just really stun them from calling that uh, for a little bit. That one I kept support out of the Annihilator fight which was a very good thing while I was pushing bots. So that was that Annihilator fight was in our team's favor judging by my role I played. Uh, my team it was their job. It was a 4 on 4 fight at the Annihilator and they could not win that segment. So, so too bad. Just outmatched overall. And I'm at about half health. Again, I don't want to die, so I'm trying to play very risky. See a good opportunity to run back in and kill him, so I do. I'm still at half health. Want to kill this spark. We have support here. I almost escaped, but I didn't. <laughs> Actually, it's funny. Yesterday, we were, uh, I played a game, and uh, just Jeff was on the other team and some other people, but but somebody on my team said, like, are you guys queued up as a team of five? And, and uh, or, or he said that he said something like along the lines, like, they're a team of five. I thought the enemy said that, that they were a team of five, so I'm like, you guys are a team, are you guys a team of five? And they're like, no. But uh, later on in the day, we were in the lobby against Jeff again, and he said, he said, he said, like, yeah, party of five versus uh, pickup team or so, something along those lines. And two of the guys on our team just quit immediately. They totally, they totally fell for what he said. That was ridiculous, man. It was so funny. <laughs> but, so that's a good tactic, a great tactic to, to beat the enemy team is just to say, we're cute as a five, man, and then they'll, they'll quit before the game even starts. Brilliant. <laughs> Good opportunity to kill Wascot. Wascot is is. Let's just see what happens here. Yeah, I'm I'm almost dead or whatever. But uh, look looking at the tables here, Wascot is doing uh, is the worst on their team. One in seven, fifty nine nine bot kills. Even though I see Spark is being a, a lot worse of a player, but uh, uh, Wascot's real. I guess you could probably say Wascott's really playing the distraction assassin what distraction Wascott he's he's do, being a lot more he, he doing a lot more for utility saving his teammates and and getting his his crook hook stuns getting in the action he's taking the deaths to save his teammates so he's definitely a, a good uh a strength to their team despite the scoreboard saying he is he is not too good. And look at his assists. He's got 15 assists. I mean, he's he's definitely a huge help. He's just not getting the kills. He's just not finishing them off. Uh, so Wascott is I mean, me being level 10. Wascott being level 9. He's a little easy. He's a little easy for me to kill. Not by much, but uh, he is. So luckily, I, I'm able to get some kills on him, which is is helping me keep my levels up. 
just an interesting thing. And, and I mean, I need to be killing, like, I need to kill Carl. Carl has not died. Just Jeff. He has not died. He Well, he died once, and he's just got killer streaks going. He's killing a lot of players. He needs to die. I really haven't seen him much this game. He's playing it very safe with his team, and I'm I'm looking more to I, – I, I, I'm having a hard time moving in on the groups and doing anything because I don't have teammates around to help me out most of the time. But I do know Carl needs to die, and he's not dying, and that's a it's very bad. But what can you do? So there's a gr whole group of them over there. I don't think we have the numbers to take care of them, so I'm just going to try and push while they are distracted on the right lane. I'm just going to try and get in on the left and get lucky. I mean, they have two commandos, so they're going to see it coming, and when they see it, they just run right over at me and uh, kill me. But I can, who, who knows, I might be able to survive it. I might be able to kill anybody who comes after me. I might be able to get their rockets down. But they buy jacks. Brilliantly, I might add. Look at the time. It's four, four, 14 minutes in. The, uh, there's about a minute, a minute and a half to the uh, Annihilator when they buy bots, which is a brilliant strategy because they're forcing us. And they buy jacks in both lanes. I don't know that yet, but they do. And it's a brilliant strategy because the next Annihilator, our team has to decide, do we attack the jackpot in the left lane? Do we attack the jackpot in the right lane? Or do we go for the Annihilator? If we go for the Annihilator and just let the Jacks come and get the rockets, our money ball goes down. Uh, basically, they're just guaranteeing themselves a very good chance at getting that Annihilator by, by calling these Jacks. So very smart move and very good coordinated play. Our team just... I, I'm, not on, I'm not teamed up with anybody. I don't have anybody on the mic, and I don't really do use this strategy much uh, as it is anymore but uh, I mean just looking at the how much money each team has well it looks like both teams have w three players with over 4,000 but our team has two players 4,500 about whereas their team has two players about at 6,000 each so they had a little like two thousand dollars to spare so they could definitely afford those jacks we could barely afford those jacks by having to buy regenital and things So that strategy wouldn't really apply so much at this point in the game. They did a great job at staying over leveled and not dying. And by the way, when I say like this easy Waskow's playing like distraction assassin style or uh, or whatever, it's not everyone misincorporates what the what I mean by distraction. They think they think it a uh, distraction assassin. and they think it means it's purely just distracting players, which will only affect bad players and me backdooring. But no, it's it's being a use for your team and just yes, taking deaths. Taking you will take a lot of deaths if uh, you have a good team because you will just get right there in the fight and and stall or hold an enemy down. Even though you might take a death, your team will finish them off, and that's just kind of what Wascod's doing. I don't, I don't have any opportunities to distract this team. They're a good team. I can't just simply, easily, like, easily distract them or anything. But my goals are to push, and if the shields go down, to shoot those turrets. Split up into two games, remember, pushing and shooting. Fortunately, not a whole lot of shooting going on. <laughs> a lot of pushing. And at this point, I'm pretty much just giving up because they're, they're all level 10 and above. Um... Uh, we we just we our stats are just bad. Three and nine, five and ten, two and eight, one and nine. I'm the only one kills over deaths. Uh, only two of us have bot kills over 100. The enemy has about four people around 100 bot kills. So it's just it's not gonna happen. And I just figure you know I'm just gonna I'm I'm not gonna delay it anymore. Let's just go ahead and lose. <laughs> Because I, I just I, I don't want to I really didn't want to play SME and see too much today I just want to get my first one of the day um, bonus. But can't you can't just uh, give up the opportunity to to play a good game and 
Yeah, even if it takes 40 minutes. If we were if if we had a good chance, then I would have definitely kept it up, but at this point we didn't. <laughs> and a lot of the teams started giving up too. So that's that. They beat us. Good good job, guys. Let's move on to the next one. Ah, Harry Butchers might be Def Slayer if he was in the last game. Sorry, I didn't pay attention. Doesn't matter. It's not a big deal. But uh, so the next game pops up, and I'm hoping. Uh, I just hope I get put in an easy game. I just want to get my win of the day, and then go go do whatever else I got to do. And who do I get queued up against? Mimniotic, just Jeff again, uh, and Gray Fox on top of all that. You know, so I'm like, great. The previous team before, plus Gray Fox, great. Luckily, we have Darth Lurts, but then three people I don't recognize. So, <laughs> so I'm like, okay, this is, I, I figure this is going to be a very rough one. But it, we actually hold in a lot better than I thought we would. So, again, I'm running the same setups with Bot Buster. Just trying to try, again, I, I feel, okay, I might have to really push the bots because I don't know how, the, how these, who these players are. I don't, I can't just trust that they're going to be any good. So, let's just go ahead and play. And right now, I, I'm, I'm, really just all about trying to survive and do what I can uh, again because it is for bots and I know I want to go in the jungle but I have a feeling they're gonna have good presence up there so I don't want to risk dying I'm being very cautious and I see Gray Fox up there and I know he's definitely gonna be better at, or, well I have a feeling he's gonna be better than me in one-on-one -on -one fights uh, so I'm I'm just being very careful of that being very careful of him I don't really want to get in a one-on-one -on -one fight with him Well, lonely combat girl over on the other side. Back grapple. Kill him. Her. And there we go. Now I am low on health. Got to run back. I'm very. I'm, I'm worried. Uh, Gray Fox is gonna come chase me down. He doesn't though. He could be anywhere. <laughs> Now our tank is in trouble. He kills assassin. They get some good kills. They get they get Robo Hobo and assassin, and we get Carl. And we get Carl. And now combat girls here. So we got we we basically got three kills. And what happened there, I think, is the enemy team got really overconfident. They probably didn't recognize the three people on my team either. Heck, I, I don't even think they think I'm any good. But uh, they probably just got overconfident and and just figured, hey, we're just going to go all out offensive on these guys and, and just beat them with brute, brute offense. But uh, luckily, they overestimated their uh, my team's ability, or underestimated my team's ability. So uh, that gave us a good... A good uh, map control based off their overconfidence. By the way, that's our fire base. That's not the enemy fire base over there. Chasing Carl down. Getting a grapple. He gets a great grapple against me. I don't really want to gra get any more grapples just because of Assassin. And very, very awesome grapple by Gray Fox, man. That was, as soon as I hit the ground, I was just done. But I didn't want to uh, get caught in a grapple because I uh, I was scared that uh, Assassin might see it and come and, and uh, help their teammate out. So I tried to just finish them off. They were very close to death. Unfortunately, I could not finish them off in that situation. And I'm just trying to push to their turret, get our bots in. It's three minutes, two minutes to the Annihilator. They have uh, Combat Girls got some nice bots there. Now they're they're really they're they're really putting all the objects down to c help control that area a bit, making it harder for us. I'm just trying to. Well, there's Gray Fox. I have to get away from him. And I'm just trying to. I, to not be so close to my teammates where we're all just bunched up and we can get flanked. I'm trying to get a little control going with the shurikens, killing those bots, relieving relieving my team of some of the pressure because I can't escape. You saw the assassin come at me and I just quickly rolled away and my team was able to help me out. But uh, yeah, I, di I didn't want to extend too far, of course. I was staying close to them but far enough away 
that I wasn't going to be in too much trouble. And there's Gray Fox again, and I'm all alone, so I need to get out of here. Excellent, excellent uh, flash and back grapple by him. And bam, knocked out. Should have ran away. I, I, I was, again, I, I, ne I haven't played against him yet, so I, I was still... I was kind of feeling him out on that. I felt I could have gotten away maybe in that from that fight. If it was just one-on-one, -on -one, I could have gotten away to safety. So I was kind of feeling out his skill against mine. And uh, I took a loss for it, but I learned. <laughs> I, again, confirmed how good he was. I, I knew he was really good based on the, the uh, well, verification proof based on that earlier grapple when I went down next to that jump pad, but... Who knows, when we both have full health, it can be a little different. Okay, so it's Annihilator time in 10 seconds. The enemy does have a support, and I go ahead and buy that jump pad for my teammates because I only have 500 bucks, and I want to get on support. I'm going to try and push my bots and get on support so that support can't rain uh, airstrikes down on on the uh, annihilators because if he uh, supports alive there's no chance of us calling that annihilator so I have to kill him and if you're a support player that's a good thing to remember maybe you can jump on your fire base to avoid, avoid getting grappled that might be something good to remember so now I'm gonna try and uh, well I need to get regenital I'm gonna I see we have a good chance to get our bots into their turret and in the right side as well and unfortunately a Fuji comes in on the right ruining that chance so I knock that turret down to keep its shields down as much as I can and then I was gonna go up and help in the annihilator fight but unfortunately we uh, we lost it so okay let's just analyze what happened in that annihilator fight because no I did not go and directly help in it and I like always discussing that uh, so what what I did during that annihilator fight was one I went after support which that's a good thing to do if I did not go after support and kill support which I did there was no chances of us getting that annihilator so that was a very good thing I did uh, I also went and then I, I pushed the turret really quickly and then I was gonna help in the annihilator fight now that's a more risky thing uh, that's my play style. My play style is to get their shields down if you can, knock that turret out be so that you only need four pushes, be it lucky pushes or actual pushes, to win. Because if we're outmatched, if during if the annihilator fights last a long time, I, and I get to one turret during each annihilator fight, I can I can uh, win the game in four annihilator fights if we're really lucky. That rarely happens, but that's just uh, my theory behind. Um, why I, I go for turrets and then I go for the Annihilator. Plus the Assault should have been dead, so the, uh, the Annihilator fight was sh I th should have been 4-on-4. Four four. So uh, that's up to my team to win. If it's 4-on-4, if it's four four, you can't blame me for for uh, not doing everything. So right now, I w right now you can look at the top of the, uh, the map there, or top of the screen, you'll see that uh, the orange bots are pushed all the way back to our turrets and I really need to help my team uh, push back but I also want to keep this the the shields down on this turret so I'm just gonna put in enough shuriken bursts to give myself enough time to go help my team do whatever they can do whatever I can in that situation help them push and then I'm gonna get back and shoot this turret and keep its shields down because we we got lucky to get to get uh, to get it down and we, we gotta capitalize on that so I, I got enough into it, so now I'm going to help my team push. They seem to be doing okay. It's not a, a terrible situation, so I'm going to go ahead and just keep shooting this turret. I, again, a good time to just shoot the turret again. They're not being pushed back too far. Our turrets aren't really taking too many hits or anything, so I'm kind of free to attack that. And my team is actually pushing back very well. They're actually gaining ground without me. Which was surprising. I was like, oh my gosh, this is this is awesome. I was so happy. <laughs> I figured we could win this. We have a good chance at winning.
Court's low on health there, but I can't really help them out. They have too many teammates around. We're com just combat girl, but still. Just doing what I can to destroy the bots from safety. I've got a good bot streak going at this point. Great teamwork there. Gotta love when you grapple someone and the, your teammates shoot them. <laughs> lot of bots there. Big mess on the right too. Now we're all, I, I don't know where my team is. I, I know support's back there but I'm, I'm still wondering where all my teammates are because they're not really in that area. Tanks in trouble. Good opportunity to kill Carl. And Carl is mimniotic this time. Uh, just Jeff is Robo. Gray Fox is Assassin. Harry Butcher's maybe support. <laughs> I'm not. I uh, name. I'm not trying to like name drop or anything. It's just these. It, it's just good to see that. Uh, just because they have name recognition, you know that they they are they're very experienced players, and it just goes to show uh, the competition we're up in this game. So we have that shield down. Luckily, I want to destroy that turret best I can. I'm trying to ricochet the shots off that wall. I've actually never done that before, and I'm not having much luck. Again, just trying to keep that turret down. Genital saved me. I was very close on health. You might want to, if you want, you can rewind that and see how, how close I was to dying there. But I, I, I did the flash just to blind them, and I went ahead and jumped, even though I, I'm not going to jump away. It's just going to hurt my head. I'm just going to bump right into the ceiling. But I do that a lot just so that I don't get like stunned or grappled or anything like that on the ground. It just helps guarantee a little bit of distance, a uh, safe distance to move. And we're, we got their, their turret down. It's Annihilator time. This is a good time. I'm, I'm just kind of trying to get the lay of the land here, help my team uh, for this Annihilator fight. They're all up there. My team is... I don't know. <laughs> but here's a good opportunity to push. And we don't get it. Just collecting the coins. I'm trying to get those Fujis to, to run over there so that I can just go ahead and uh, ejector it. And, it. and that prevented our shields from going down, so that's a good thing to do. That was a smart move by me. Trying to destroy some turrets. I don't. I have not died yet. Let's see uh, how much I have not. I'm at uh, 75 bot kills, and I don't know where where I am, but I've got five kills too. So I I'm getting quite the bot streak going right now with Bot Buster, and it's just gonna really help me take these uh, shadies out a lot faster. And bouncer, I did not see. Have to escape. And I go ahead and buy bots. 
you, most games I don't, I usually save that for uh, save my money for Regenital and, and being offensive, but we really need to be uh, we're really getting pushed back hard, so I have to, to spend my money more defensively. I wish the team would, but but uh, I had to. So just all kinds of stuff everywhere, doing whatever I can. Don't want to spend too much time chasing pros down, especially against this team who all are very skilled and they can work together well. I could kill the Shadies in almost two Shuriken bur Bursts at this point. Takes, I think, like one or two shots more, but... Thought I saw an opportunity there, but... Uh, oh, that was it. Yeah, I went after I went after Carl. I was going to try and finish Carl off, but then I saw on the top right that uh, my teammates killed Carl, so then I just retreated. No, I, 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 I would like to push, but my team is nowhere up there. So I, if I just go out and up there in the front lines with my bots, it's, it's probably just going to result in my death. So I'm just sticking back and killing all the bots I can. I have a decent shot at both lanes, and I'm waiting for my team to, to kind of push forward together so that I can get up there with them. Until they do that, though, it's, uh, I'm not going to go out there solo and get killed. Now, Comeback Girl might be alone, but she has a support, so I back off. say <laughs> just playing killing bots it's it's a hard I can't a lot of people say will say you have to as assassin just go in and kill anybody with you just have to go out and kill all the players but Against a team like this, that's no, that's not an easy task at all. So, just trying to hold off until the 25-minute mark so that our team can get over, uh, matched in levels. The enemy team is 13, 12, 10, 10, 10, 12, 11, 10, 9, 9. This is our team. The enemy team, they're, they're, uh, they're. Nobody really has. Well, I, well, I guess the game has passed a good while. So some players have not died in, in a while. So they probably do need killing, but it's not. It's not like they haven't all died uh, yet, so it's it. I'm not too worried about uh, streaks, even though Gray Fox seems to have a good one going. But uh, I figured even just just going after him is not going to be an easy task. I have to just wait for a good moment. And I'm sorry for this dang microphone vibrating. It's annoying. It vibrates my ear when I talk into it sometimes. It's, ugh. It was Gray Fox. I did not uh, see that in the game. I might have been looking at something else. Like the scoreboard or something. Almost dead. Annihilator. Yeah, soon. No, right now. We weren't going to get that. There's just too many bots and nobody on my team was able to get up there, so... Again, just trying to keep those shields up.
don't want to grapple Carl. He's got too many teammates around. I have teammates too, but I get the feeling uh, their team's better than my team, so not going to happen. And I've still got my streak going too. I don't want to risk a death. Now, okay, here we go. This situation, uh, they're actually on Chicky, and I want to kill Robo Hobo, but I know they're going to get Chicky, and as soon as they get Chicky, Robo's going to get full health, so I want to kill him, Robo, as fast as I can so that uh, he dies before they call Chicky, because if, if we don't do that, he's going to get full health and armor, and we're going to be screwed. So just working on him. He's got Jumpy Spunky. I was able to get him as he landed. And now uh, Assassin's after me. They, she quit calling Chicky to come after me. Get Regenital. It's my best chance of survival. If I ran away, Assassin could have just ch ch chased me into spawn and killed me. And now they're going to get Chicky. Yep. Just as I go after support. But Assault and I are doing our best to hold this area. Wish our team would move up with us, but they're not. They're all just sitting back. They should have moved forward, man. I think now everybody's just so worried about staying defensive, they, they, they don't even try to move forward. And that can happen. It's just... It sucks when it does. Trying to save Robo there by blinding them just so he can escape. Now I get the feeling there's just way too many bots and things around. Never mind. I forget I said that. That's the next wave, maybe. So now the area is clear of bots so I can take out this turret. And I got a juice so our money ball doesn't go down. Last time we saw that rocket, it had its shields on and probably full health. <laughs> now it's not there anymore. Now look at this stuff. Look at this. You see that? Oh my gosh. Talk about distraction assassin. Oh my god. So that's something I learned. <laughs> And we're just overwhelmed at this point. Yeah, I think I I, I really think I didn't notice it or, b before when I was playing, but I think it was just when my my team had a good opportunity to to gain the middle ground there, but uh, three of them just stood back behind the money ball. They def they pushed earlier in the game, but when when you when uh when you start taking turrets out, the other team will just get in this defensive mode it's just a mindset they take like oh we can't lose these rockets we can't lose these rockets but as long as you're pushing forward and stalling the bots ahead of time your shields will never go down and I'm just trying to make a last hurrah and advance maybe the enemy's distracting me I'll get this, get this Fuji in he's trying to get lucky assassin comes after me scramblers bouncer 
I'm done for. When so I lose my streak, and during that streak I had 182 bot kills total in the end. So that was good. That wasn't a bad run. I'm not giving up yet, though. <laughs> I mean, both all of our turrets are down, but uh, it's not like last game where I'm just going to give up. This one I'm still going to fight for. If I could just get in the game. Unfortunately, our money balls, it's its basically over. <laughs> They're all at it. All these bots are here. Yeah, it's over. So my team did a really great job early on. It, actually, in both games I, uh, of this video, team did pretty good early on working together. But uh, in the end, just I don't know what happened. They just they just couldn't uh, pull it off. But uh, so that was just a very good game overall. And uh, enemy team was just all they were all solid. Our team, we got us all going 2 and 14. I mean, he's doing good in bot kills, but... Uh, yeah, 2 and 14, that's not too hot. So, uh, good game, though. Very, very fun. And uh, thanks for watching. Hope you uh, enjoyed it a bit. And I'm working on uh, support and gunner builds. Uh, just my, uh, just some, some things I'm working on. If you want to trade some bacon regenital, I have a bacon regenital or anything. If you want to give me some uh, skill regen bacons or crit chance bacons, let me know if you have some in stock. Maybe we could trade for it. So talk to you around. Talk to you later. See you around. <laughs>